What up, though? What up, though, y'all? Look, I was just thinking and stuff. I don't know how this even got forgot about. I don't know how this got forgot about. I know y'all be thinking, like, man, where Tev come from for real? Like, why they cool like that? Why that nigga just get to talk crazy to niggas and shit like this and all this other shit? So who? Talk crazy to you. I don't talk crazy to me. Who? What the fuck is you talking about? I'll be on your ass, nigga. We get the video going on first? Yeah. The, the one we was at, went out to This going on first. All right, y'all, watch this video. And then watch the next one. You can out wherever you put them. See what I said when we was in Golden Corral, bro. I recorded? Yeah. All right. Did you? Yeah, I, don't, I guess. No, I didn't record nothing in Golden Corral. So they gotta watch your video. No, I didn't record nothing. I didn't record that. When we was talking about the granny, we was like, your mama cooked me breakfast? Oh yeah, I put that in. I put that in there. I put that in there for you. So look, what did Matt get on my ass doing that? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that nigga. Go ahead. You gotta have a good sense of humor. But look, I don't know how I forgot about this. All right, I'm just gonna get straight to it. So when we, you know, niggas used to be in the streets and shit. A nigga, this nigga Day John, was fighting. No, nah, I can't even explain the story. Listen, so I was around 17, 16, and uh, was we in school? Yeah. All right, so you know, I was about 17 years old, and Diamond, I think it was Diamond. Was it Diamond? No. Party? Who, who party was it? He don't know no, no I, let me No, who party was he it? He don't know no better, I got it. No, who party was it? It was Gina's, nigga. Gina's. Oh, it was Gina's. Nigga, girl named so back Gina. In the day, People, oh, these, yeah. these niggas' mamas ain't care about them, nigga. They said, they let their kids do willy nilly. I ain't letting them put that on so my look, mama. My mama cared about me, but if I wanted to go to a hotel party at the age of 17, so my mama, what you think I'm doing? I'm my going. mama was making sure, you know what I'm saying? She did the best she could. They was some baby boys, and they couldn't go nowhere. So, you know, Big Tev, come on, man, Tanya, let them come out with me one time for the one time. This is why I say, don't, you gotta let your kids be free. Cause my mama held us in the house until we was like 18. And I think, shit, my brother passed about 21. Crazy, he was, we was only outside about three years. <laughs> I was like, who I'll do what he want now, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, we got this, this whole kill party. Ain't, ain't, nothing but, ain't, ain't nothing but thugs in that motherfucker. Girls, young, girls and young thugs. And niggas. Well, obviously. Young thug, you know what 16. I'm saying? Yeah, a couple of 18 year olds come. A couple of 18 year olds come, whatever. So, everybody's trying to get to the hotel party. It was niggas 21 in that bitch yeah. and everything. Nigga. Everybody trying to get to the party, but we was in the party. Hotel party, in the room, right? So, we leaving out. It was getting a little pretty late. Uh, Kev, the only one had a whip. So, we get in Ted. No, I think it was it was somebody's car. It was Sheev car, wasn't it? Your car? I was wrong. And we was getting ready to leave. We finna go to Wendy's. I remember. And as we pulling out, it's this nigga that I was beefing with. He like, what's good? But it was our homie Danny cousin. So I'm, you know, I'm finna get ready to fight. I, I'm not. I don't think I was nervous, but I thought we was gonna jump the nigga. But then Danny, I'm like, Danny ain't gonna let us jump this nigga. They cousin. So Danny was like, it's gonna be a one on one. We and couldn't jump him anyway. They had a gun. What are you talking? We about? didn't know that at first. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, oh, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I know he got, well, yeah, whatever. So then we get the, you yeah, know, we get to fight or whatever. Can't really remember the fight. I remember we was putting each other in the headlock and shit, and I was hitting that nigga. Can we get down fighting? I mean, I clearly got the advantage over him, right? This is where shit get tricky. We could have just went back to the car, left. They was talking shit as we was leaving, and as they was leaving, we was both talking shit. Now I'll let the nigga finish the story right there. Man. As they leaving and shit, duh. I don't know if he tried to break their window or whatever. It probably wasn't him. It was probably their brother. Probably my probably the other brother, whatever. I don't know if they tried to break the window whether they was leaving or not. Next thing you know, we in I mean let me remind you, we in the suburbs at a hotel. We at the Hilton. So Arban Hill it's it's Arban Hills in the city of Arban Hills. Their response is like this. They come fast. They don't play. So that's, as, as they leave, I don't know if it was him or his brother trying to sock the window, but as soon as they sock the window, nigga, them niggas pulled up just a little bit. Dog got the hanging out the window and just got the shooting. Banging that motherfucker. I'm talking about banging. You know, niggas ducking and shit, but as everybody ducking, I feel something. I feel something knock me to the ground type stuff. You feel me? This boy hit me. 
Boom. So I get back up and shit. I get to checking myself. I had on some black pants. I take my black pants. I'm like, damn, my shit got a hole in them. Like right by, by, right by your pubes. Did you feel me? Then I look at my boxers too. That boy got a hole in them. So I look, lift that up. I'm like, damn, I'm shot. I'm like, damn, them niggas shot me, cuz. They like, no, I quit playing. No, I'm like, nigga, for real, I just got shot. So I'm like, cuz, damn. So everybody, I told you, there's number girls and But oh, I forgot to mention this. When they got the shooting, it was a nigga that I was cool with from back in the days. I'm talking about back in the day, and I was still cool with him, though. It was somebody that I was cool with, but I wasn't around him every day. He had a gun on him, too, but when he seen who they were shooting at, which is us, he was looking from afar, I guess. He get, he run out, get the shooting at the... Oh, shooting at, that? That was, he only he, he had, he's locked up for a gun. But he came out shooting at them, you feel me? Damn, so I do like, remember that. Yeah, I'm like, he, damn. He was with, uh, okay, yeah. Was, a lot of niggas locked Everybody locked up from back in the days. So, yeah, so I've noticed I'm shot or whatever. So I'm like, damn, cause what the fuck? Police come. Not they. The, the van didn't got away. They they didn't got away. Who was shooting? Police come. Stretches. Put us on the curb. I'm acting like ain't nothing wrong with me because I don't want them to know that I got shot. Whatever. Oh, you know, I do remember that part. So yeah, like, they put us on the curb. We got to checking everything, asking us our names and everything. So dog and them laughing. I remember they thought we was the one. Shooting. Yeah, they thought we was the one shooting. Yeah. So they got us on the curb, whatever. So as the police checking us and everything, you know they gotta pat us down and shit. They got the flashlights right, on us. This whole story coming back to me now. They put the flashlight on me. He instantly, hey, hey, he's hit. He he shot whatever. I'm like, no, I ain't. I'm straight. He like, yeah, you you got a hole. You got holes right there. He they got the flashlight on us. I'm like, damn. They like call. They get them thing. Call P the EMS rule. Blah blah. blah. Next thing you know, this one, everything going on. Not everybody in the hotel know that I done got shot, whatever, but I'm not feeling, I'm not hurt or nothing like that. Next thing you know, here we go. Now we got, I got to go to the hospital first, and now we got to go to the, oh, we got to, what was the police station? It's the police station. They got everybody in there for questioning. What they were saying to you, though? We got in the question, it was like, who had a gun? Do y'all have a gun? I was like, nah. And they was like, who had a gun? I'm like, nobody. It was like, well, we seen y'all on camera. That's what they were saying. It was like, well, we seen y'all on a hotel camera with a gun. And I was like, nigga, we ain't had no gun. What hotel camera? And then, but it was crazy because they was talking to us without my mama being there. I remember they was asking us so many questions. And then my mama ended up coming. It was like 7 in the morning. At this time, it's like 7 a.m. Because we, this shit happened probably at like 2 yeah, but this time it's like seven. Oh, remember B Cart? B Cart was there. Yeah, was no, we drove B Cart. We probably, yeah, we was in the car with B Cart. Matter of fact, B Cart was laughing. B Cart walk out the uh, cause his his mom is there first out of all of us. His mama coming there. He laughing. I'm like, he's like, <laughs> I ain't, I just told him what happened. I'm like, you told him what happened. What? He was like, just tell him. Just tell him. I told him what happened. So I was like, yeah, your friend already told us that y'all yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, we ain't had nothing. And then I ain't really know about. Like the law and shit back then, but I didn't say nothing because. They was all ass, like y'all. So y'all stupid ass. Yeah, you gonna let? They you said gonna he was gonna, hurt. No, oh, that's, that's they probably they tried to lie. Us. They probably tried to lie. Yeah. They was like, your friend ain't finna make. <laughs> he ain't finna make. <laughs> I'm straight too. Like I, I got hit in my pubes, but it, it, <laughs> bro, I remember B Cart. I, mean, I remember that B Cart part coming out line and shit. Like they went in there, questioned us what happened. Then his mama came back up to the police station and was wigging on us, like mad as hell. I couldn't go out for a minute after that. And then why why everybody thinking it's so serious, you feel me? My mama. So before they when they put me about time they the word travel. So my brother lived in California at the time, but I got all my niggas that I hang with that's in the streets, whatever, they they weren't there. They weren't around. It was it was just us or whatever. So once they heard, they called my brother. And like, damn T F got shot. So he like, hold on, let me call my mama. He called asked my mama that I get shot. Next thing you know, my mama found out everything. She didn't. She at the house. She, I mean, she at the uh, hotel, nigga. In, in, in five minutes, we live all the way on another side of town. She at the she at the hotel in five minutes. So I get to the hospital. She ride there to the hospital with me. So they at the police station though. Got to answer questions. So about time I get released because I was straight. Whatever they just you know did what they did. Whatever patched me up and shit like that. Now I got to go to the detective. They asked me who shot me. You are, of course, I don't know. We don't know what happened. Somebody, we was walking, somebody just got the shoe and I got hit, blah, blah, blah. And man, we in the lobby. This nigga and his brother get to playing Patty LaBelle, somebody loves you, if you don't know. Let me show y'all what song they start playing though. It made my mama mad as hell at these niggas.
Damn, we couldn't eat. We had to go to this nigga house when his mama was uh at work. She was mad. She was mad as hell as these niggas. Let me tell y'all what she was with these niggas play. Is that probably the bell? Hell yeah, boy. I can't. No, we was playing plies. But it's her but it's her but it's her song though, so you feel me? They played this. I gotta play the part. So them niggas get to playing. Them niggas get to playing. Somebody loves you, nigga. Why? Somebody that why nigga didn't got shot and shit because of him. Nigga didn't got me clapped. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. It was a gift because Kev always wanted some hoes, right? Yeah. So after he got shot, it was like unlimited. Girls was just on this nigga. He had like a 32, a weak ass gun or something. Cause that bitch dead it, it dead it, I'm bleeding. You feel me from it? It's 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 a dead hole, it's a hole in me. It just ain't so it's still there. You still there. I got the scar, I got a scar there, yeah. But that was I got shot at two times. Yeah, I've been shot at We got times. our other man's clap too, uh, other, other man, man's he, clap. He them can you say that? Do what happened? I'm saying why you hit that why you the person you hit? Oh yeah, so we had got bro. We was in a gang, so we when we see it got so bad that oh we had jumped the nigga brother. Remember? I wasn't there. I wasn't there. You ain't jumped a dog at the grocery store. Remember we remember the nigga John? I think that was his name. John. No. What the fuck was his name? John or James? At a grocery store. At Sunoco on the east side. Mm -mm, what's that nigga name, bro? He, got, he used to mess with uh. But yeah, man. all of the story, this nigga's been getting niggas clapped and shit. All this fights and this nigga, he, him, I don't know what it was about him and his brother, but niggas just always, these niggas was always getting into it with niggas and shit. The same way that y'all think about me is the same way niggas used to think about me. Like, man, I'll beat this nigga ass. Or, oh yeah, so them ass, niggas nigga. probably think them niggas just was thinking just like, shit sweet. There was like repercussions afterwards. Cause you know, the niggas and I, I ain't like, fucking with your boy and I wouldn't let nothing go on with my niggas and shit. You feel me? I got a clap dog. And these <laughs> niggas, the nigga got one of our men shot, shot in the leg, broke his bone, nigga couldn't walk for about six months, nigga. Yeah, my other man got shot. Cause I had we had jumped this dude and his brother, we ended up seeing his little brother, and then his sister, she was like one of them hood rats, like a super hood rat, like a thot. Like I don't know, like sexually, but she was like a dirty ass girl. So she used to act like a nigga. So I ain't treat her like that. Who the hell are you? She great. Who now? She probably changed her life. You never know. Well, I ain't seen. I ain't seen. She, I haven't heard of her. Nigga she took a life. perfume bottle and tried to hit me. So I had to rock her shit. <laughs> so I was gonna rock her shit. Uh, so I tried to rock her shit. Her brother pulled out a gun. Nigga, we dipped. As soon as we hit the fence, he get to shoot. Shot my nigga. Shot my nigga dead in his leg, man. Yeah, man. That nigga hopped to the car. We was close as hell to the hospital, too. This is just one of them stories I don't know how we ain't never said. Talk said nothing about it. Nigga got me clapped and shit, so I be talking reckless to this nigga like nigga. Yeah, current niggas about Applebee's, niggas. That was the scariest day of my life, man. Applebee's? Yeah, remember <laughs> Applebee's, nigga. On homecoming? Remember, none of us You was scared. Oh, yeah, you were out no, with the homecoming. We was in the car. Remember, we put up the Yeah. Yo, I'm going to tell you this quick story, girl. So, it's homecoming. Everybody go to this Applebee's in Arvin Hills, right? Mind you, Arvin Hills is a white, like a white neighborhood. Or a, back in the day, it was like a white neighborhood, like where, you know, uh, if you went to college, you stayed over there. It's like hotels for like, I mean, not hotels, like dorms for college, OU over there. There's a bunch of shit over there or whatever, right? So, we pulled up after homecoming. We pull up. Now, this is when the gang shit was active. I'm talking about this everybody that was top ranked, them niggas was out. We little niggas, but we the most popular little niggas. Put it like this. We like, if you comparing us to LeBron, if we compare it to the NBA, we wasn't LeBron and them yet. We was like, who hot right now? That, but they know John Morant. That was us. We was the Grizzlies, bro. Like we wasn't really. We was that niggas. Niggas was popular on that bitch, but we wasn't like you feel. Niggas me? ain't try to be on no tough shit. We I had niggas who I, who was on that like was trying to get make their name, but we was more so 
trying to fuck with all the hoes and you know, you know, and, and, and try to get some money and shit like that. So we pull up. I remember it's me, but a nigga my was brother, the Danny, yeah, yeah. Tevin, and this nigga named Tutu. Tutu locked up 15 years right now. Probably finna get out with him soon. Uh, he, he, we all in the car. We pull up to the to, to the Arvin Hills. It's this nigga that's East Side nigga. He from the South. Nah, this was uh. Man, uh I remember I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, yeah. soon as we pull up, we pulling up to park. These niggas walking out. We in front of the we as we parking. The nigga in front of the car, he shears us. That nigga whip out pistol. That nigga said, nigga, we bag up. Nigga, I'm like, what the fuck? So at this point, nigga, we call the niggas like, man, we just got, them these niggas just pulling out no, guns. No, you got to make it real. We ain't call niggas. We call my right hand man, man we like, Squeeze. Nigga pulling out guns on us. I call my nigga so Squeeze because like, I already know he on whatever said, he want to do. Whatever. He said, oh, for real? Nigga, meet me at Frosty Tree. No, nigga, he pulled up there. No, it ain't. Let me nigga. tell you what happened. Bro, they pulled up there first, and then we went no. to go look for them niggas. We went to Frosty. No, so you skipping the story. We go to Frosty. He said, meet us at Frosty. All right, bet. I'm going to meet y'all at Frosty. Like, cause look, this is how I'm going to tell you. This is how I know you forgot. When we pull up to Frosty Tree, they pull up. So remember he got on that bullshit. No, you yeah. right. yeah. pull up at Frosty Tree. That was after the fact for us to for us to switch. Cause they that's when that fight got to going on. Before that, no, nigga, listen, nigga, let me tell you. Dre and Vante pulled in. Pete, we pulled up to Applebee's on that. What are you talking listen, about? You so Vante is on the phone with this nigga. He like, yo, we at we at uh, Frosty Tree. Frosty Tree is closed. Why we there? We, of course we was meeting somebody. So. These niggas, this nigga from the south side just, just trying to fight us on the tip for nothing. No, I don't like the way you tell So then, the that's what Vontae story. pulled. Remember, Vontae pulled I up. I get that, but you telling it. You, the way you telling it, you making this look like some hoes, bro. Nigga, what you mean? We ain't win that battle. Who? We you crazy as fuck. You missed up. Before the, I'm talking about after before the Frosty Tree, we was, it was shoot, it was already the shootout. No, what did it, you it was two shootouts. This nigga, this nigga making this look. After that. He, see, your story making this look like some hoes. For one, nigga, while we at Applebee's still, I call my mans, like, cause nigga, we fresh out of homecoming. Nigga, we went to homecoming. These niggas ain't go to homecoming. These niggas older than us, two years older than us. I call my mans, like, hey, my mans, come up to Applebee's right now, cause he instantly on my way. Got there in like 10 minutes. They already gone, but they hopped out the car. Every, all the girls and niggas looking like, damn, what the fuck, what the fuck he doing here? Nigga, we at Applebee's, nigga. Them niggas all pull up. So then he like, all right, I'm finna jump in a ride with y'all, nigga. We he jumped in a ride with us. We went through the riverside. We couldn't find nobody. Oh, nigga. Yep, yep, yep. We went through the riverside. Then we rolled down a street where they house be at. He get this. He shooting. He already shooting through the riverside because he thought he seen somebody. Then he shot up no niggas house. Shot up the niggas house. Then he like, all right, I can't find nobody. Whatever, whatever. Jumped out the car. Then that's when motherfucking G call is like G call is like nigga G call is like uh some 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 you ready to switch rides to Danny because we was in that we was in the Malibu. Oh, then we pull up. Then we pull up. We, we met him off. Yeah, we dropped Monty off and we met them. Met man. them and then Dog was in the car. He was in the car with the nigga that was meeting us, so it seemed like a setup. Oh yeah. Nigga, so it seemed like a setup, but this Danny cousin that got the car who we finna drop off. So as soon as he hop off. Soon as he hop out, he get on the tip, right? He on the tip. I ain't gonna lie, this a nigga that's known. He on the tip, guns, fighting, so, whatever. You feel me? I see Terry in the cut. He called the niggas back up. You know me, cause I he didn't pop up. Man, he pop up. Man, no I, talking, no word. Called my nigga right back up, like cause he from he was from where we was at. Called him right back. I pulled right back up here. That nigga came in two seconds. Saint dog, I'm talking about trying to put it on him. This a little bit. Ray, the X rated though, you feel me? But he trying to put he, he trying to put dog down. But dog got away. His lungs collapsed. He was in the hospital. And shit like that. And then nigga, we took their car and we was on about our we was on our way, nigga. They trying to make us look like no hoes now, nah, nigga. It wasn't no no, no shit like that, nigga. Nah, it was like we it it was like a four but it was like a four battle. I thing. put them niggas in their first shootout, you feel me? It was their first shootout. It was like a four it was like a four a four battle. First four drive battle. by first shootout and shit like that, but we you lost feel the me? Third one, nigga. Oh nigga, I don't feel like we lost shit. Nigga I ain't do shit, nigga. I mean I ain't gonna lie, no, I ain't gonna lie. Cause my nigga did get socked and shit. My nigga got socked and shit. Yeah, I didn't even know tip. <laughs> my nigga, but yeah, that, that was crazy that <clears throat> Yeah, bro. 
Yeah, ain't a lot of them people. This is, ain't I might bleep people, a, I might bleep a couple names out, cut a couple names and shit, cause I don't be wanting to put name, make it seem like this is no bullshit. But that was just a quick little story time, man. I don't know how we forgot this nigga got me clapped before. Nigga got me shot, nigga. Fuck around, shit, cause you want to be fighting niggas, want to fight you and shit, nigga. Hey, niggas ain't when niggas went running up on me. Yeah, at least he's still here, man. Nigga, niggas went running up on Ted. You know what I'm saying? But I had something for them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Damn, good. But yeah, though, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Talk that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be, you know. That's why they got That's why I'm here. You feel me? Loyal friend. Niggas, niggas shot me for this nigga and shit, man. <laughs> but, uh, I've been on some bullshit while I've been down here. I've been, I was supposed to have at least about four, five videos. I got two. I got two, been out here four days, I got two videos, man, I don't know. I've been enjoying myself too much, instead of making money. But I'm gonna get on y'all.